hello everyone welcome back to my video channel and this video is about a continuation of the part one uh, video on the components of food okay so in the first video i started with the open elective subject that is food nutrition and health in that first chapter is components of food so we were dealing uh, uh, about components of food in the previous video so now in this video i would like to continue with the same topic okay the rest of the topic so in the previous video i have discussed the uh, comp uh, in components of food we know that we have carbohydrates fats proteins minerals water roughages and vitamins right so in the previous video i was discussed the carbohydrates and uh, carbohydrates and uh, fats so now i will continue with proteins so now let's get start with the uh, uh, protein uh, part so what uh, what are proteins here so proteins are uh, are highly complex uh, organic compounds which are made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen okay and these uh, this uh, protein um, distinguished differs from carbohydrates and fat by the presence of nitrogen okay so uh, it is uh, the carbohydrates and the fats are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen but protein contains uh, one more uh, extra organic compound that is nitrogen that's how you can uh, differentiate so and the um, one fifth of our uh, of an adult total body weight uh, uh, is protein okay and we can find the protein in every cell of our body like all the tissues in our body like such as muscles blood uh, bone skin uh, and then uh, hair uh, are made up of protein okay and even many hormones and enzymes are either proteins or protein derivatives and our and the nucleic acid in the cell uh, uh, nucleus occurs in the combination with uh, proteins uh, as a nucleoprotein like this protein uh, of the one fifth of our body is totally it is composed of protein okay hmm. and the protein uh, is uh, synthesized by from a basic units called amino acids okay the protein is basically synthesized uh, basic units called as amino acids like how uh, how you say uh, like uh, for cell we will say um, cell is the building block right of a body like that amino acids are are the basic units uh, basic units for the proteins <coughs> Yeah. and the here proteins have uh, many importance in that mainly the uh, the proteins are uh, very important in our uh, in our uh, proteins very important for growth and repair of the body okay and the proteins are consumed in our food are not used to our body in their original form so this is because of two reasons firstly it is because of proteins are insoluble in water and secondly because they are very complex molecules so now the question uh, there will be a question so then how the proteins uh, um, are going to be, uh, 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 gained uh, present in the food are broken down okay how the uh, food is digested how the protein is digested that, that the question will is going to arrange arise in our mind right so now there is a question uh, what happens when a protein content food is consumed to by us so uh, when the food is uh, uh, digested in the small intestine so when we take the food the which the food which contains the proteins that is digested in the small intestine and the protein present in the food are broken down uh, into simple uh, substances called as amino acids okay and these amino acids are water soluble and they are very less complex when compared to the protein okay so the amino acids thus formed are absorbed from the intestine into the blood so the blood carries these free amino acids to the various body cells so where they are um, Uh, regroup to form a specific protein uh, such as uh, skin uh, muscle blood and bone bone this is how the mechanism of uh, uh, protein is going to digest in our body and how again the proteins is uh, um, break down into small amino acids then those amino acids are in turn again used to form the protein according to the need of our body okay so as i mentioned before so the pro amino acids uh, uh, that's why this protein is synthesized from basic units called as amino acid <clears throat> so how we can define protein a protein protein molecule is made up of chains of amino acids joined to each other by a peptide linkage like it is a chain of amino acids okay it is a chain of amino acids which are linked together by a peptide linkage this is called as peptide linkage or peptide bond okay so now we will move on to the uh, the sources of protein so so what are the food that contains the um, 
uh, proteins. Here the first one we can say sources, uh, we can get proteins from both the plant and animals. Okay, uh, first I would like to mention the plant proteins here. Plant proteins we are going to get from groundnut, beans, whole uh, cereals like wheat, maize and pulses. Okay. And some uh, some of the proteins we are going to get it from animals. So like uh, lean meat, lean meat means uh, meat without fat that is called as lean meat. And we are going to get fish, egg, milk and cheeses, cheese, sorry. Okay, so these are the uh, sources of vitamins. And then if you have to mention more about uh, protein, so this, as I said, this is amino acid is a, a basic unit of protein. So what are, what is the structure of this amino acid here? In simple, it is made up, that this is the structure of uh, uh, amino acid. Okay, this is the structure of uh, amino acid. It is uh, made up of a acidic group that is carboxylic group and it has a one side chain. Okay, and this side chain is going to vary, uh, uh, varies from one amino acid to another amino acid and this is the amino group and this is hydrogen. Okay, so chemically this amino acids are composed of a carbon atom which is attached to a carboxylic group a hydrogen and an amino group and an amino acid radical or you can say side chain. And this carboxylic group, amino group and the hydrogen atom are same for all the amino acids, okay. And the R group uh, is uh, distinguished from one amino acid to another amino acid. If, you, if I have to give one example for amino acid, I would like to take the glycine here. So this uh, is the structure of glycine, okay. This is the structure of glycine, amino acid, okay. So and uh, the proteins. As I said, these are uh, proteins are made up of chain of amino acid which are joined by a uh, peptide bond. So <clears throat> here the one group of amino, one amino group, uh, one amino group of one amino acid is linked to the carboxylic group of another amino acid. So each, either the one the amino group in the in one the amino group na carboxylic acid ke link ka girote. So that's how they are uh, joined. Okay, and um, this link is removed by hydrolysis by the removal of water. Okay. And the uh, and they are linked to a bond peptide bond, okay, forming a peptide chain. So if two amino acids are linked by peptide linkage, this actually forms the peptide dipeptide, okay. Or if three amino acids linked by a peptide bond, that forms the tripeptide. And the proteins consist of such uh, hundreds of such linkages, like many linkages like this. That is called as polypeptide. Okay, that's about the uh, basics of uh, uh, proteins and again proteins are divided into essential amino acids and uh, non-essential amino acids. Uh, your essential amino acids are those which cannot be synthesized by our body uh, so meet the physiological needs and hence should be supplied through the diet. Those become the essential amino acids like hysterine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine and tryptophan valine are the example for essential amino acids and coming to non-essential amino acids in non-essential amino acids are those that can be synthesized by our body like uh, examples like alanine, arginine, aspartic acid, glutamine, glycine, proline, serine, uh, tyrosine are the uh, examples. Okay, so that's about the uh, proteins. This is all the basic uh, about proteins. So while we are answering on the components of food, so we, we are going to get the so many contents, uh, right? Carbohydrates, fat, proteins. So, so this small basic information is enough for the uh, answering that question. Okay, uh, this is more than enough. I feel. Okay, now we will move on to the next component of the food that is vitamins. So vitamins are uh, organic substances that we ingest with our food and that acts as a catalyst. Okay, so catalyst is the one that enhances the reaction, which will uh, gives the a kind of push up that uh, that chemical reaction going to occur. So the proteins are going to act like that. Mm, um, so and these are the substances that help to trigger the other reactions in our body. And proteins usually they do not provide uh, energy to our body. Um, you know, vitamins uh, they just act as a catalyst in certain chemical reaction of met uh, metabolism in our body, which lead to normal growth and uh, health, and, and a good health. Okay, that we can say. Mm. Uh, so while we are taking the food, we should concentrate uh, on the uh, how much amount of vitamins uh, we are taking because uh, uh, so these vitamins are needed by our body in very small minute quantity but their presence are, presence is very essential, very needed uh, for our body. So that the, their presence in, the, in our diet is very essential. And we know that more than 15 vitamins are now not present and each one of these is needed for a specific purpose in our body. Uh, and uh, some of the important, uh, uh, some of the important vitamins are, uh, we can say uh, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin B complex, vitamin C, vitamin D and uh, vitamin E and vitamin E, okay. So, <clears throat> 
here vitamins are divided into two types okay vitamins these organic substances which are required in very small quantity are divided into two types the one is uh, water soluble vitamins okay water soluble vitamins another one is fat soluble vitamins so it is divided into two types water soluble vitamins and uh, fat soluble vitamins and uh, here the most of the vitamins uh, uh, most of the vitamins cannot be uh, cannot be made uh, made by our body so they have to supply through various food which contains them so like essential vitamins and non essential vitamins like that essential um, here uh, essential vitamins are those which cannot be synthesized by, by our body so we should have to take it through the diet and um, some of them are uh, non essential they are already present in our diet so that we don't have to take it from uh, uh, from the other sources okay so the body is capable of synthesize those uh, vitamins those will become the non essential vitamins <coughs> and there are only two vitamins uh, called vitamin d and vitamin e can be made in our body okay um, and here all the uh, vitamins are uh, prepared in plants and almost all food items contains more than one vitamin in varying amount and these days however all the vitamins also being uh, uh, synthetically they are uh, synthesized mm -hmm. <coughs> so we should also make a note that uh, as like, unlike uh, carbohydrates fats and proteins the amount of uh, mm, uh, the amount of vitamins uh, needed in our diet is not large it is very minute but we must have in our diet since the body doesn't make these uh, uh, substances okay so as i mentioned here these um, Uh, vitamins are divided into water soluble vitamins and uh, fat soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins are here uh, mm -hmm. Uh, vitamin uh, C is the water soluble and vitamin B is uh, uh, water soluble and fat soluble are vitamin A, vitamin um, D, vitamin E and vitamin K is the fat soluble vitamins and we will study all these in the next chapter. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, all these in uh, with a special reference to roles, classification and their function. So we, everything we are going to study in the next chapter. I will make it in the next video. So right now I explain this much uh, because uh, so we are studying as a component of food. I guess this uh, this much information is enough for for the, for uh, for to answer that components of food. Okay, so now we will move on to the another component of. Um, so i i guess i have forgotten the sources of vitamins right okay i will mention the sources of vitamins here so sources of vitamins so we have I have said there are two types of water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins so in water soluble vitamins a source of for vitamin c is like we can give amla and lime oranges tomatoes are the example sources of vitamin c so from the taking these things we can get the vitamin c uh, one and vitamin d are uh, through milk uh, egg fish and butter we can get it from these food uh, sources and vitamin vitamin d we can get it uh, by By exposing just uh, for a five minutes uh, to the uh, sunlight, that is enough for the uh, enough for a day. So if we ex expose for five minutes uh, to the sunlight. Okay, so then coming to the source of vitamin E uh, are uh, green leaf, vegetables, milk, butter, tomatoes, and wheat and uh, jam, uh, jam oil. Okay, these are the uh, sources. And sources of vitamin K are green leaf, vegetables like spinach, cabbage, tomatoes, and soya bean are the examples. And uh, next source of vitamin A. or yellow red uh, green leaf vegetables such as spinach carrot sweet potatoes red peppers and yellow fruits such as mango papaya and apricots are the some of the sources of vitamins <coughs> okay now we will move on to the next uh, component uh, uh, of of the food that is minerals so here the, what are the minerals then so the minerals uh, are metals okay uh, and non metals and the salts are called as minerals or you can define in another way the naturally occurring inorganic nutrients present in soil and food that are essential for the proper functioning of the body so those are called as minerals <coughs> so why we need the minerals so here minerals are needed to build the bones and then teeth and formation of rbc and coagulation of the blood and functioning of the muscles and uh, functioning of muscle liver thigh and thyroid gland etc so the minerals these are required in very minute quantity as i mentioned before like it's unlike the carbohydrate and fat and the proteins which are required in large quantity but uh, minerals we are required in very small quantity minute quantity but minerals should be present in our diet so so morning while you are taking your breakfast what you what you will do you will focus on only in the carbohydrate like you will take more rice so that is a kind of sugar right so you should avoid the carbohydrates i mean you should take how much the body is needed but in that carbohydrate it should includes all the vitamins and minerals so take care about that part while you are eating it's not like only blindly eating the food and say okay so i have taken enough energy no you should concentrate on on your diet so in on your plate what is present 
so when you look at there is there if there is only more amount of rice that means that you are only taking carbohydrate more so add uh, some salads green green leaf vegetables and uh, fruit so that enhances the uh, minerals and uh, vitamins of of uh, so that will give more uh, minerals and vitamins okay that i would like to suggest uh, so what is the function of the minerals so in, uh, minerals are needed to needed to enzymes to do their work so enzymes they will act as a cofactor to or to uh, catalyze or to enhance the function of the enzymes the minerals are very essential uh, so some of the important minerals that are needed by our body are iron iodine calcium phosphorus sodium potassium zinc copper magnesium chlorine fluoride and sulfur are the um, examples <coughs> coming to the sources of uh, sources of uh, white uh, minerals uh, minerals uh, uh, source of iodine are seafood and iodinized salt major source of iron are ragi eggs uh, etc the ragi is a very good uh, food source so in indian culture we will take more ragi obviously ragi is very important so it has more iron and also it is good for the um, uh, humans especially and uh, for the who are uh, more involved in physical work physical tasks they uh, the ragi gives most energy and also you can you can observe if you take more ragi like uh, grain ragi not only uh, ragi like grain food so we can control your diabetes okay so that's how i would like to mention and uh, like uh, coming to next uh, mineral that is calcium calcium you are going to get it from milk proteins uh, cheese beans and green leaf vegetables fishes etc okay these are the some of the sources of uh, minerals <coughs>